Want to speak real English from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at EnglishClass101.com. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in English. Hi, everybody. My name is Alicia. Welcome to the 800 Core English Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in English. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at EnglishClass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master English. Okay, let's get started. First is watch. 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 So when we use watch to talk about a noun, it's referring to the clock you can wear on your wrist. Do you have a watch? Do you have a watch? Do you have a watch? Glasses. 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 So glasses are eyewear. We wear glasses so that we can see better or so that we can block the sun from our eyes. I don't wear glasses. I don't wear glasses. I don't wear glasses. Jacket. 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 So a jacket is usually a light piece of clothing. Uh, it keeps you a little bit warmer in autumn or maybe in spring. That jacket looks nice on you. That jacket looks nice on you. That jacket looks nice on you. Receive. 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 So to receive something means to get something. Get sounds a little bit more casual than receive. To receive a confession of love. To receive a confession of love. To receive a confession of love. Search. 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 So the word search means to look for, to look for something. Search tends to sound a little bit more formal than look for. It'll show up if you search on the internet. It'll show up if you search on the internet. It will show up if you search on the internet. Take. 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 So take means to remove something from another place or to choose something. Please take me home. Please take me home. Please take me home. Week. 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 So this word is the opposite of the word strong. It means something that doesn't have a lot of power. A weak team. A weak team. A weak team. Strong. 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 So strong is the opposite of weak. Strong refers to something that has lots and lots of power. Be strong and don't give up. Be strong and don't give up. Be strong and don't give up. Cold. 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 So the word cold typically refers to temperature. When the temperature is low, we describe the feeling as cold. The North Pole is cold even in summer. The North Pole is cold even in summer. The North Pole is cold even in summer. Hot. 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 So hot is the opposite of cold. Hot is used when the temperatures are warm. The temperatures are very, very high. We describe the feeling with hot. The tea is still hot. The tea is still hot. The tea is still hot. Funny. 
funny. Funny. So the word funny refers to something that causes us to laugh. Funny sitcoms make me happy. Funny sitcoms make me happy. Funny sitcoms make me happy. Peach. 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 So a peach is a well-known fruit. It's kind of sweet. I'm allergic to peaches. I'm allergic to peaches. I am allergic to peaches. Orange. 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 So orange can refer to the fruit, or it can refer to the color orange. I drink orange juice in the morning. I drink orange juice in the morning. I drink orange juice in the morning. Potato. 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 So a potato is a very, very popular food. We make all kinds of things with potatoes, french fries, mashed potatoes, and so on. Fried potato is not good for your health. Fried potato is not good for your health. Fried potato is not good for your health. Soybean. 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 So a soybean is an ingredient that people may use to create other things, like milk, for example. Soybeans grow inside the pods. Soybeans grow inside the pods. Soybeans grow inside the pods. Vegetable. 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 So a vegetable is a food that's good for you. So there are many different kinds of vegetables: carrots, zucchinis, so on. I ate fried vegetables. I ate fried vegetables. I ate fried vegetables. Cow. 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 So a cow is a farm animal. We use cows for dairy and for milk and for beef. The cows are grazing in the field. The cows are grazing in the field. The cows are grazing in the field. Pig. 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 A pig is another farm animal, usually very low to the ground and pink or kind of gray in color. We use these for meat. Pigs are intelligent animals. Pigs are intelligent animals. Pigs are intelligent animals. Horse. 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 So a horse, another farm animal, is used a lot more for entertainment, for like racing activities. Have you ever ridden a horse before? Have you ever ridden a horse before? Have you ever ridden a horse before? Snow. 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 So snow is a type of weather. It's precipitation, so that means it's rain. It's water from the sky, but that is frozen. There's a lot of snow on the mountain. There's a lot of snow on the mountain. There is a lot of snow on the mountain. Well done! In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Click the link in the description and sign up for free at EnglishClass101.com to get access to the full list of vocabulary you'll need for daily life conversations. You'll also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and other learning resources. See you next time. Bye bye. Hand. 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 So your hand, it's a part of your body. This part of your body is your hand. Left hand. Left hand. Left hand. Arm. Arm. Arm.
So the arm is this part of your body from here to the end of your hand. Muscular arm. Muscular arm. Muscular arm. Foot. 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 So your foot, just one, is the part of your body that's at the very, very bottom. Right foot. Right foot. Right foot. Leg. 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 So your leg is the entire long part of your body, one leg that you walk on. Long legs. Long legs. Long legs. Finger. 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 So your fingers are these parts of your body. So finger is a countable noun. We count it one finger, two finger, three fingers, and so on. Pinky finger. Pinky finger. Pinky finger. Back. 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 So your back is like the reverse part of your body. We think of this as the front part. Our back is behind us. My back hurts. My back hurts. My back hurts. Stomach. 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 So your stomach is the part of your body that digests food. So we often talk about our stomach because it feels uncomfortable. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. My stomach hurts. Chest. 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 So your chest is the upper part of the front of your body. I have chest pains. I have chest pains. I have chest pains. January. 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 January is the first month of the year. In North America, it is typically a cold month. It's very cold here in January. It's very cold here in January. It's very cold here in January. February. 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 So February has an interesting spelling. That first R isn't really pronounced. February is the shortest month with 28 days. February is the shortest month with 28 days. February is the shortest month with 28 days. March. 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 March is the third month of the year. We think of March as the time when spring begins. It is now April, so last month was March. It is now April, so last month was March. It is now April, so last month was March. April. 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 April is the fourth month of the year, and we think of this as a time when flowers start to bloom. April showers bring May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. April showers bring May flowers. May. 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 May is the fifth month of the year. We think of May as just the time before summer. So the weather's typically really, really nice and spring is in full, like, bloom. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. May 31st is World No Smoking Day. June. June. June.
June is the sixth month of the year. It feels a little bit warmer than May, but it's not quite summer. A warm June. A warm June. A warm June. July. 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 So July, the seventh month of the year, is typically when many people think of summer as beginning in the U.S. July is one of seven months with thirty-one days. July is one of seven months with thirty-one days. July is one of seven months with thirty-one days. August. 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 August, the eighth month of the year, tends to be quite hot, and there's a lot of fun summer activities to do. The school is closed in August. The school is closed in August. The school is closed in August. September. 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 September is kind of the beginning of fall or autumn, and it's also typically the time of year when students go back to school. Today is Saturday, September tenth. Today is Saturday, September tenth. Today is Saturday, September tenth. October. 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 So October is when the weather gets a little bit cooler, and we start to see some popular autumn foods appearing. Halloween falls on October thirty-first. Halloween falls on October thirty-first. Halloween falls on October thirty-first. November. 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 So November is very well known in the U.S. for having Thanksgiving, when we enjoy a huge meal with family or friends. November is one of four months with thirty days. November is one of four months with thirty days. November is one of four months with thirty days. December. 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 December is the last month of the year, and we think of it as a time for celebration. December thirty-first is New Year's Eve. December thirty-first is New Year's Eve. December thirty-first is New Year's Eve. Can. 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 So can is used to mean something we are able to do. Can jump over. Can jump over. Can jump over. Zero. 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 So zero is used to refer to the number, which means nothing. So we also read this as o sometimes. Number zero. Number zero. Number zero. One. 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 So one means the first number. So we use it any time there's a single number of something. One degree. One degree. One degree. Two. 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 So two is the second number. We use it to talk about pairs or couples of things. The number two is my favorite number. The number two is my favorite number. The number two is my favorite number. Three. 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 So the third number in English is the number three. Three dollars. Three dollars. Three dollars. Four. 
four. Four. So the fourth number in English is the number four. Keep in mind that the spelling is different from F O R, which means a purpose. Number four. Number four. Number four. Five. 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 So the next number is the number five. The starfish has five legs. The starfish has five legs. The starfish has five legs. Six. 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 So the next number in our sequence is the number six. We have a six-day vacation next month. We have a six-day vacation next month. We have a six-day vacation next month. Seven. 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 So the next number in this sequence is the number seven. There are seven days in every week. There are seven days in every week. There are seven days in every week. Eight. 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 So the next number is the number eight. This has an interesting spelling. It's pronounced eight. Eight is a lucky number. Eight is a lucky number. Eight is a lucky number. Nine. 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 So the next number in this series is the number nine. Nine floors. Nine floors. Nine floors. Ten. 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 So ten is the first double digit number. That means there are two digits, one and zero. Ten grams. Ten grams. Ten grams. Salesman. 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 So a salesman is a male, a man who sells things. Car salesman. Car salesman. Car salesman. Manager. 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 So a manager is a person at a workplace that is responsible for other people. Department manager. Department manager. Department manager. Cook. 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 So a cook is a person who makes food. A cook is different from a chef in that a chef went to school. A cook has their experience on the job. The cook fried an egg. The cook fried an egg. The cook fried an egg. Engineer. 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 So an engineer is a technology-related job. An engineer can create things in many different industries. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer. I am an engineer. Programmer. 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 So a programmer is a person who writes or who creates programs. I am a computer programmer. I'm a computer programmer. I am a computer programmer. Nurse. 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 So a nurse is someone who works at a hospital or a clinic or at like a nursing home. So they help patients. The woman is a nurse. The woman is a nurse. 
The woman is a nurse. Body. 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 So a body can be a human body. It's just your actual body, all of your different parts. We can also use this for animals too. Food is fuel for the body. Food is fuel for the body. Food is fuel for the body. Head. 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 So head refers to this part of your body, the very top part of your body. Head injuries are very dangerous. Head injuries are very dangerous. Head injuries are very dangerous. Laugh. 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 So laugh can be used as either a noun or as a verb. So we use this when we find something funny. The couple is laughing at a joke. The couple is laughing at a joke. The couple is laughing at a joke. Delicious. 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 So delicious is a word we use when we think something tastes good. We can use this for food or drinks. Chinese food is delicious. Chinese food is delicious. Chinese food is delicious. Water. 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 So water is just the word we use for the thing we drink, the most basic thing to drink. Can I have some water, please? Can I have some water, please? Can I have some water, please? Tea. 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 So tea is another very popular drink. You can have it cold or hot. Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Coffee. 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 Coffee is yet another very popular drink. Uh, we usually have this in the morning. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Beer. 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 So beer, yet another very popular drink for adults. We usually enjoy beer after work. Cold beer. Cold beer. Cold beer. Wine. 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 So wine is something that we tend to enjoy with kind of special occasions or we like to pair it with foods. Glass of wine. Glass of wine. Glass of wine. Beef. 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 So beef refers to meat that comes from a cow. This can mean anything that comes from a cow. Beef steak. Beef steak. Beef steak. Chicken. 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 So chicken refers to the animal, but also the meat. When you want to talk about one like of the animal, you can say a chicken. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Chicken can be fried, baked, or roasted. Pork. 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 So pork is another very popular meat. We often have it at breakfast as bacon or maybe in the evening as like a pork chop. Pork is the meat from a pig. Pork is the meat from a pig. Pork is the meat from a pig. 
fish, fish, fish. So fish is anything that comes from the ocean, anything that comes from the ocean or from other bodies of water. Chicken or fish? Chicken or fish? Chicken or fish? Lamb. 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 So lamb refers to meat that comes from a baby sheep. Lamb is extremely delicious. Lamb is extremely delicious. Lamb is extremely delicious. Doctor. 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 So a doctor is a person who helps other people with their health. If you get sick, go to the doctor. If you get sick, go to the doctor. If you get sick, go to the doctor. Police officer. Police officer. Police officer. So a police officer is someone in a city that helps other people when they are in trouble. I'll ask a police officer for help. I'll ask a police officer for help. I'll ask a police officer for help. Teacher. 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 So a teacher is someone who shares information, who helps students or other people to learn something. English teacher. English teacher. English teacher. Employee. 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 An employee is someone who works at a company or someone who works for someone else. Female employee. Female employee. Female employee. Come. 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 So we use the verb come to mean to move from one location to the place where we are now. The girl came towards the video camera. The girl came towards the video camera. The girl came towards the video camera. See. 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 So we use the verb see to mean to use our eyes to focus on something. The tourist saw the sunset. The tourists saw the sunset. The tourists saw the sunset. Make. 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 We use the verb make when we talk about creating something. The chef makes orange juice. The chef makes orange juice. The chef makes orange juice. Use. 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 So we use the verb use when we want to talk about like applying something or we want to talk about uh, utilizing something for something else. The programmer used the computer. The programmer used the computer. The programmer used the computer. Today. 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 Today means this day. We use this when we want to talk about something that's happening on this day, like part of a schedule. Today's homework. Today's homework. Today's homework. Yesterday. 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 So yesterday means the day before today. So you can use this word when you're talking about like past actions. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning. Tomorrow. 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 So 
So tomorrow is like the opposite of yesterday. It means the day after today. So we use this when we're talking about our future plans. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Week. 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 So week refers to seven days. That seven day period. So we use week when we want to talk about making plans or our schedules and so on. I'm busy this week. I'm busy this week. I'm busy this week. Year. 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 So a year is three hundred and sixty-five days. So we use year when we're talking about points in time, like historical events. One year. One year. One year. Second. 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 So second refers to a very short period of time. So the amount of time that's inside one minute, for example, there are sixty seconds in a minute. There are sixty seconds in a minute. There are sixty seconds in a minute. 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 Min it. So minute refers to again a period of time. We learn that there are sixty seconds in a minute, and we can use minutes when we're talking about times of day. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Hour. 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 So an hour refers to one of those twenty-four blocks of time throughout the day. I sleep for eight hours every day. I sleep for eight hours every day. I sleep for eight hours every day. Clock. 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 A clock is an object that we use to understand what time of day it is. We can have analog or digital. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. Alarm clock. A clock. A clock. A clock. So a clock is used after a number from one to twelve to show that it's a specific hour. Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock. Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock. Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock. Calendar. 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 So a calendar is something we use to understand the dates of the year. There are twelve months on a typical calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. Monday. 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 So Monday is for most people the first day of the work week. I go to work on Monday. I go to work on Monday. I go to work on Monday. Tuesday. 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 Tuesday is for most people the second day of the work week. Tuesday, January first. Tuesday, January first. Tuesday, January first. Wednesday. 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 So Wednesday is the middle day of the week, but keep in mind this is pronounced Wednesday. There's a D there, but we don't say Wednesday. We say Wednesday. Wednesday the eighteenth. Wednesday the eighteenth. Wednesday the eighteenth. 
Thursday. 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 So Thursday is the fourth day of the work week, the day that comes before Friday. So most people get a little bit excited for Friday, and thus Thursday is kind of the day when some people start their weekends a little bit early. Thursday, January 3rd. Thursday, January 3rd. Thursday, January 3rd. Friday. 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 So Friday is the last day of the work week, and lots of people get excited about Friday, and they do things on Friday nights with their friends or their coworkers. Are you free this Friday? Are you free this Friday? Are you free this Friday? Saturday. 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 So Saturday is the first day of the weekend. Lots of people choose to do things like their hobbies or maybe take a trip somewhere. It's a day to relax for lots of people. Saturday night. Saturday night. Saturday night. Sunday. 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 So Sunday is the last day of the weekend, usually. Sunday tends to be a more relaxing day, so we're kind of recharging a little bit and taking it easy. Sunday morning breakfast. Sunday morning breakfast. Sunday morning breakfast. Do. 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 So, do is used when we're referring to some kind of activity. We're making something happen. We are taking care of something. Do homework. Do homework. Do homework. Go. 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 So, the verb go means to move from one place to another place. We use this when we're traveling or maybe even when we're talking about some place we would like to go or like to travel to. Go to the park. Go to the park. Go to the park. Hello. 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 Hello is the most basic greeting that you can use. You can use it with your friends, with your family members, with your coworkers. Any time of day is fine. Hello, how have you been? Hello, how have you been? Hello, how have you been? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. So, excuse me is the expression you can use when you bump into somebody or when you need to interrupt somebody who's working on something. It's a nice, like, apology expression to use. Excuse me, how much is this? Excuse me, how much is this? Excuse me, how much is this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So we use I'm sorry in cases where we make a mistake. So I did something wrong or I did something bad, I use I'm sorry to apologize. I'm sorry, it was a typo. I'm sorry, it was a typo. I'm sorry, it was a typo. Good night. Good night. Good night. So, good night is the expression we use at the end of the day when we want to say goodbye to someone or when we want to wish our family members a good night of sleep. Good night, Grandma. Good night, Grandma. Good night, Grandma. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, nice to meet you is the expression we use the first time we meet someone. We don't use this like the second or the third time we see someone, only for the first time. Please come in. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Nice to meet you. Please come in. Nice to meet you. 
How are you? How are you? How are you? So, how are you is used as a very general greeting. When we see our coworker for the first time, or we see a classmate for the first time, we ask, "How are you?" Meaning, "What's your condition right now?" It's been a long time. How are you? It's been a long time. How are you? It's been a long time. How are you? Yes. 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 So yes is the word we use to agree with something or to show we think something is good or correct. You can use yes、uh, in any of those cases. Yes, this one, please. Yes, this one, please. Yes, this one, please. No. 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 So no is the opposite of yes. We use it when we want to disagree or show that we think something is not good or is maybe not the best option. No, I haven't eaten yet. No, I haven't eaten yet. No, I haven't eaten yet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you is used to express your appreciation for something. You can use this after you receive a gift or someone does something for you. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank you very much for the invitation. I'm. 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 So I'm is the reduced form of I and am.、It、becomes I'm. Make sure to clearly pronounce that m、mm、sound, like when you're introducing yourself. I'm John. I'm John. I'm John. Goodbye. 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 So goodbye is one way to say like something at the end of the day. Usually, to say bye to someone. Goodbye sounds a little bit more formal than just bye, but you can use it to sound polite. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye. See you again. Goodbye. See you again. Bad. 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 Okay, so bad is a word that means not good. You can use it to describe something you don't like or that you think is inappropriate. Be careful of bad people. Be careful of bad people. Be careful of bad people. Good. 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 So good is the opposite of bad. You can use it when you want to express that you like something or that you think something is positive. My teacher is a good person. My teacher is a good person. My teacher is a good person. Pretty. 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 So pretty is used to describe someone or something's physical appearance, something that we think is beautiful. I have a pretty girlfriend. I have a pretty girlfriend. I have a pretty girlfriend. Ugly. 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 So ugly is the opposite of pretty. We use this word to describe something that we think is not pleasing or is unpleasant. Ugly face. Ugly face. Ugly face. Easy, easy, easy. So easy is used to talk about something that is not difficult. It's maybe something that's simple to do. Easy exam, easy exam, easy exam. Difficult, difficult, difficult. So difficult describes something that is hard or something that is challenging to do. Difficult problem. Difficult problem. 
difficult problem. Near. 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 Near is used to talk about something that is close to us. It's something that we can go to quickly and easily. I live near the university. I live near the university. I live near the university. Far. 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 So far is the opposite of near. Far means something that is at great distance from something else. There's like a long way to get to something. The station is far from here. The station is far from here. The station is far from here. Small. 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 So small is the opposite of big. We use it to describe things that are little. You can use it for concepts, for objects, or for people. Small mistake. Small mistake. Small mistake. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.